Welcome to the Young Filmmakers Project. I'm Tara Cox. We're here at Vancouver School of Arts and Academics for a special episode of the show. This is our Skills USA episode. Skills USA is an organization that promotes career-oriented competitions. In this case, digital cinema production or filmmaking. Students get a prompt and then have just a day or so to write, shoot, and edit their film. All the movies we'll see today were produced by Vancouver Public School students for the competition. Our first film comes from a group of students right here at VSAA. It's a psychological thriller that uses editing to tell the story.
I'm here with Joe Buselink and Emma Josephson. So tell me a little bit more about um, the idea, where you guys got your idea from. Uh, the idea just kind of came out of thin air, to be honest with you. Uh, we only had a little bit of time to come up with one before we were really pressed for shooting. Uh, and we wanted to come up with something that was easy to edit. Uh, so this idea had a lot of repetition involved. So uh, when we came up with it, we realized that it would be really easy in post uh, to make a good product out of it. We built on our ideas a lot as we were going through it. So we like added the steps in as we kept filming it, kind of all one process. Definitely. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about the editing process because the repetition and the way it's edited together really tells the story. Yeah, uh, actually while we were shooting it, Editing was a big part of our thought process, and uh, you know, while we were editing it, uh, we split it up into different jobs. So we had someone do the timeline, and then handed it off to the other person to work on it uh, more specifically to make the story more cohesive. Uh, but other than that, it was a really simple editing process. Okay. Uh, tell me about your shot composition. How do you plan for something like that when it's you're so pressed for time? That's all her. Yeah, we, um, we didn't actually put together an, a real storyboard before we started doing it because we kind of were coming up with it on the spot and everything. But uh, we, ten we tend to just uh, try to get the middle close up, you know, long shots to establish everything and then go from there, just kind of the basics and then going off of there from whatever we feel we want to do creatively. What kind of things surprised you in this process? What, what came up as a big surprise? What was surprising was that there were no surprises. Usually when you do something in this short uh, span, something will always come up that really throws you off the rails and you have to respond. Everything worked out in our favor for this project, and uh, I think that's why it came out really well. Everything was going our way. That's great. Um, what, what do you guys like about doing these competitions? Uh, well, I think... Mm, having your project go toward a greater purpose rather than just a grade. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, even if it's not competition, just throwing it in and seeing if people like it, and obviously people do, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I struggle a lot, like, personally with the short timeline videos because I just love, like, spending as much time as I can on them. Yeah. But I do learn a lot about myself, like, as a filmmaker and, like, what I can do when I'm pressed for time, which is also exciting because you can learn how to do things more quickly. And it helps you be a better teammate also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it, when you have that amount of time, you just you really figure out who you are as a group member. How do you think that your experience in the class and going to BSAA has helped you in your, telling your story? Uh, well, I'd say just the creative freedom is number one that any artist, not even just filmmakers, will tell you. Uh, you really find out who you are when you get to express it through a medium, mm -hmm. you know, that's not an academic medium. Uh, so that's, that was the biggest thing for me. Yeah, I would say definitely the freedom, too. We just have an open classroom to be able to do whatever we want. We have the equipment, and then they just let us go and do so we can, like, practice and learn different things. What will you guys do next based on the skills you've learned here? Yeah, I'm going uh, going to be a freshman at Portland State next year, and I'm going to be majoring in film. So wherever that takes me, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff in Portland. And then from there, I just hope I'm always, like, in the industry, like, learning new things. I also want to expand my skills at the collegiate level too. I'm not sure uh, if I want to get a job directly in the industry or if I want to maybe go out on my own and make my own production company. Uh, I have one project that's in the works that I'm really excited about uh, that a preview should be coming for pretty soon. But uh, other than that, I'm not really sure, but I know this is a path I want to go down. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Our next film comes from Columbia River High School, and it takes a lighter approach to the concept of time. You blink first. I was driving home from the pet store yesterday and because you know I like to go there and just like look at the animals and not actually get an animal because they're messy. Um, and there's this guy inside the road with his thumb out and I wasn't, I wasn't going to pick him up but I guess he's kind of cute in the rugged I haven't showered in three weeks kind of way. Um, <laughs> so I kind of 
I took him in. He's like, oh, my name's John. What's your name? Like, Keisha. With a K, like, Keish, not like Karen, right? And then, what happened next? different actually being able to have a conversation. No one else would let me get a word in edgewise. I'm just been coming across the strangest people. Yeah, that sounds sounds rough. Well, anyway, my name's Kyle. What's he thinking? Why are you looking like that? Crazy that we became friends through that weird speed dating incident, huh? Yeah, right? We weren't even supposed to run into each other. Like, how did that even happen? Because I was on the guy's side. What were you doing on the girl's side? I don't know. They must have mistaken me for a girl. I don't know if you were experiencing the same thing I was. All the girls I was talking to were just crazy. There just wasn't anything there. It was... yeah, Everything that... seemed off. It was kind of odd. I wonder yeah. where they found these people. Well, I'm glad it happened. Yeah, this has been a pretty nice evening. It really has. I'm, I'm glad we met. Yeah, you're a pretty cool homie. Thanks, man. Is this your pet? Oh. Yeah. Thanks. Must have dropped it. Did, did you feel bad? Did we? Did you just... Um, well, uh, nice to meet you. Nice job, guys. Our next film is also from River. It's called Time is Money. Adam! Adam! What? Can you do me a favor? What now? Can you buy me a lottery ticket? Rafiq, that's a stupid game. You play the same numbers every week, and you've never won. I'm feeling really lucky today. You're feeling lucky? Is that why you tore your ACL? I was unlucky. I noticed. What are the numbers again? 16, 19, 32, 34, and 57. Don't forget. Don't forget it. And the Powerball? 13. Got it. Hey, wait. What time do I need to get the ticket by? Five. Six? Okay. Hey Adam, are you at the store yet? Yeah, I'm just outside the store. You remember the numbers, right? Yeah. I remember the numbers. Have I ever broken a promise to you? Oh uh, yeah, I gotta go dude. See ya.
Alright. Arafik. Dude, Adam, what happened to calling me when you got the ticket? I have the ticket. Alright, alright, see you soon. Oh crap. Tonight's jackpot has climbed up to a record breaking estimated 949.8 million dollars. I hope you have your fireball. Let's see how you did. First of all, we're at 32. I know what they say, it takes money to make money, you know? I know, let me get my glasses out. I don't all right. know, I can't read all that small print. Put my glasses on here. You got money madness, we went up to $75,000. You know what, I'm not getting any, any younger. Next number down is 19, that's all by 57. Larry won $200 doing this. Scratch it? Yeah, $200, and he only invested 175 Well, you have a 10 and a 5. What would I've you got do a both? 10 and a 5. Think we should do both? Well, this show me. Do you think we should do both or or or, or what? Yeah. Oh, that must be for the other game. Okay, I think for. Do you know yeah, about no. this? You put them. He took our money. I need to go. I'm out of time. Oh, we're gonna need another five dollars then, Gladys. I just want this Powerball! You what? I won! We won! We, we won! We won! We won! We won! Big brother! Yeah. Ow. We can pay for your surgery now! <laughs> Let me see the kit. Let me see Here's the kit. Here's the ticket. ticket. <laughs> Rafiq, what's wrong? Look at the ticket. See your numbers? <laughs> Look at the time. Yeah, you said six. Five fifty nine. The same time. I said five. You you said what? Five. Alright, together on three. One, two, three. <laughs> Our final two films also come from Columbia River. Hey man. It's it's been a while since I've talked about all the things we used to get do together and I'm sorry I took so long. It's just Finally made your bed, in case you ever come home. As for the rest of your room, well, there ain't enough money in the world. I may or may not have, but certainly did try to play your guitar. Um, it was really bad, and I'll never figure out how you used to strum that thing with just your thumb and no pick. Jesus Christ. Every morning before I go out, I make your favorite breakfast. Bacon grease pancakes with maple syrup. It's a mess to clean up, but... I do all the chores around the house now, so what's a few more dishes? Speaking of the chores, the laundry's easier now, I guess. Only have to do a load every other day now that it's just me and Dad. Haven't seen Mom since. Well, uh, you know when.
hope you don't mind. I'm kind of borrowing your sunglasses. They look pretty fresh on me, I'm not gonna lie. I went to our favorite burger place today. The one dad used to take us to all the time. He didn't come. He just sort of spends his days either working or sleeping. But I did start to dip my fries at ketchup, just like you used to do. It's starting to go on me. I don't know. After that, I went to our favorite park, walked up to your favorite spot. I remember you loved that spot. You got to see the barbed wire fence in the middle of nature, and you just loved the contrast. I remember, you used to say, the only thing you liked more than being out in nature was when we used to sit down and watch the game together. Yes! Time stopping watch from an antique store. Sure. Hey, yeah, uh, precinct. I think I've got a suspected shoplifter. I'm in pursuit. You're coming with me. I always said I would exercise if I had the time. All right, see you later.
doesn't work on water. Interesting. Help. What am I supposed to do with this? It's all wet. I I uh, can can pay for it now. I all right. You're out of time. Let's go. Come on. I'm taking you no, downtown. Come. Let's oh. go. That's it for us. Thanks for watching the Young Filmmakers Project. Until next time, I'm Tara Cox.